Hi, uh, this next talk is from uh, Rainier Tasico, who is from Philippines. And he's not going to be available today for Q&A because uh, he's probably sleeping. It's uh, the middle of the night for him, but he sent a video so we can watch how to mobilize an open mapping initiative on social media platforms using the LGBT community. So, hello everyone and good day. I am Rainer Tasico and for today I will be sharing you regarding my presentation for this conference in Buenos Aires and especially for the uh, free open source software for a good conference. So, okay. So, by the way, so, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> there, uh, okay, so right now, uh, so a topic for today is uh, mobilizing an open mapping initiative on social media platforms with the LGBT community. And with that, I am presenting this here in the uh, post for or the free open source software for good. And anyway, uh, representing the organization or community called Mapbex. So it's a much more on an organization or a community that advocates for the uh, LGBT or lesbian, gays, bisexual, and transgenders, especially uh, all lines are not uh, Mapbex fake lines. And pretty I am as I represent the Mapbex community, I am also the uh, lead advocate of this community. And you can also uh, interact with me or engage with me on my Twitter account and also with the Mapbex uh, account as well as different social media platforms and Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So Okay, so for today's agenda, so, <laughs> okay, so I've introduced myself already, and so right now I think we are already checking in, so, okay, so, second, uh, so what's the importance of the OpenStreetMap here, especially on our topic uh, on mobilizing an open mapping initiative on social media platforms with the LGBT community, so, so what are safe spaces and what building houses, roads, and et cetera. And with that, uh, what are the communities that uses the OpenStreetMap, aside from the Mapbex and the mental health areas? Although that we will only um, talk about the Mapbex and OpenStreetMap and other visual uh, visualization that we can do here uh, using the opposite map community state uh, data. So, so there are uh, with our partners regarding the uh, from various awards, thanks for the uh, humanitarian open street map and we're in this analyzer for the uh, mapping for the people and mapping better people where we map for the future with uh, various organizations. So, so that, uh, so what are these safe spaces? So what do we, could, what do we consider as safe spaces? So here in the Philippines, we had the safe spaces, called the Safe Spaces Act of 2019, wherein we address existing gas and issues and quality, security and safety of both women and men in private and public spaces, where the Safe Spaces Act is extend, intended to expand the scope of the Anti-Sexual Harassment Act of 1995 by Republic Act 7877, wherein um, we um, ensure that the this policy uh, covers the, uh, for the anti catcall and stalking, uh, work whistling, homophobic, sexist slurs, and, and invited comments or gestures on 
person's appearance and supplements records for personal details and public observation, uh, passion, public parts exhibition, uh, exhibition, this, this and so, or any advanced matter, verbal or physical that is and written on one's senses of personal space and physical safety. So, uh, we can consider our social media platforms as part of our safe spaces, so such as uh, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, Instagram. Although that we can also uh, make it private for our uh, meet meet us, where we we consider them as part of the uh, the environment of our safe spaces, and whether we can also. Uh, Consider it as as uh, private, and we don't discuss any uh, sensitive information about uh, publicly. So, uh, which is also a uh, another part of safeguard here in the data privacy act, twenty ten, where um, some data or information are protected by it. And some people who may exploit it will be held accountable as well, aside from the Safe Spaces Act of 2019. So more than that, uh, so moving forward, so OK. Uh, who among you are familiar with the OpenStreetMap? So by the way, uh, if you haven't really uh, registered yet or not yet familiar with the use of OpenStreetMap, so Right now, um, let's visit uh, the opposite map here in street map and uh, make sure that we can log in. So uh, just uh, find the opposite Then, okay, so I've already logged in my account. So there, uh, okay. And so by the way, I am right now here in, um, UPLB or the University of Philippines, Las Banyas. So we, I can edit some uh, interesting information here, especially where I am uh, residing right now here. And the university and so on. I can also uh, consider the place that where I am in as uh, part of the Safe pages. If I can also uh, edit some information here, so for example here. Okay, so let's go on on uh, editing some parts. Uh, okay. So by the way, uh, if these uh, buildings or information are uh, necessary to uh, add here, so or make some polygons regarding the buildings. So, okay, so here uh, we can make points and lines areas. So as part of the importance of the, the usage of OpenStreetMap, and also if there are various clinics here that uh, we can add, uh, wherein we can um, share this information to the public uh, using the data here, using the overdrive and so on. So, Okay, so uh, moving forward for uh, our methods. So by the way, uh, we also use the Facebook and other social media platforms on, on marketing and information uh, regarding our data plans. And so uh, for, uh, Finding information publicly uh, available, uh, such as the HIV facilities in the Philippines that are uh, not, if not registered, you say the public, uh, Department of Health data. So, by the way, uh, our, the Philippines uh, usage for the uh, um, regional use Ministry of Health, but uh, its counterpart is the, the Department of Health like other countries. So with that, uh, we have identified 
our PIM gathered uh, a lot of information for Facebook and our various communities wherein uh, we have also uh, crowdsourced information and um, um, various communities uh, build uh, raw data here. So we have we've made some data dump uh data dump so aside from the uh, suggest the pill health data uh pill health level one two and three and the uh department of health facilities regarding the uh hiv databases so right now um aside from yeah aside from the, the databases and then the accredited pill health um facilities so okay so uh, yeah. for the itis we <laughs> so uh anyway uh we have our data that already here so we have the raw data files that we can uh add it as well so from so we have various uh provinces here in the Philippines. so uh our team our community uh Printed and arranged uh, some information regarding this, uh, especially uh, uh, NCR or the National Capital Region, the capital of the Philippines. Then, uh, so uh, we've already cleaned most of the data here. Uh, last trend, uh, starting from 2020 data, and some of it are now uh, not pretty sure if some are still. Uh, uh, in operation so here okay so we so as we have arranged and categorized this so from different provinces from cr region one two three and the cordillera administrative region region five or vehicle then six seven eight and region four eight and we have for um so Mimaropa and uh Calabarzon here in the Philippines so region 9 and 11 12 at Caraga and Pasamara region so so uh after that we have arranged and cleaned some data we've started to process it further and we'll clean it so regarding the facility um the data from the uh, data pumps and department of health so uh edited some data such as the facility names, uh, alternative facility names, and unique if it has. So, it has, uh, if it, whether it's government, private, or um, operated by NGOs and other types of it. So, right now we have identified some HIV testing or counseling facilities, and some of it are treatment hubs or primary HIV care facilities regions, provinces, and uh, city municipalities, and the complete address or street address, uh, updated telephone number, and emails, uh, their schedules, website, uh, Facebook, and especially the contributor from the data pumps and the one who uh, processed it, aside from the primary source of the data. So there. So we are thankful that we have our different uh, partners and community who started with us regarding this uh, advocacy. So here. Yeah. So why is it important, by the way? So yeah, okay. So if this information are not yet available, we can uh, create it and make our own uh, space, uh, what we can consider say spaces here. and. Um, for our community, especially for our, our workers and objectors. So, so next. So, so yeah, especially if uh, regarding some projects that we have right now are is under it are under the map page where we are currently mapping uh, 
areas like Parilac and Zamboanga, and then Parilocke. So there, yeah, uh, so as what I have uh, showed earlier, we can, with our community and our members from the campus, that we had our different um, opinions as well uh, regarding OS and tracking. So regarding our gears and activists here. So especially on making roads and mapping some uh, information regarding um, some necessary uh, facilities or uh, buildings, such as fuel, uh, groceries, and other um, uh, sources of food there. And yeah, so we are. So, so yeah, uh, we are Kimapex, and we have had our um, different uh, projects, so, such as the online activity mapping community based on the DS, Yes, um, the map HIV facilities and map response and impact the super typhoon Rolly and um, most of the, So, and yeah, it's still facilitating the end map page. So, yeah, and here uh, we have had the uh, really issue in facilities and support not to set up each IB facilities brought by Mapex and Celebration. You could buy land. So, uh, regarding safe spaces, and uh, yeah, uh, less 2020 and part of it. Uh, okay, so let's visit the uh, website of the map. So, here. So, here. Uh, so, we. So, what we have here uh, on our website, we have already. Uh, process and visualize the data here. So we have the activity safe spaces map and HIV citizen support. Although that what I showed earlier is uh, the one that was uh, um, still working. Okay, so all this the uh, ready internet activity are now so. Okay. Mm. Okay. Not great. Okay. So, but we have already. Uh, okay. We had this project for this. Uh, and I think the HIV and primary HIV facilities in the Philippines. So, and so what are this? Okay, HIV test and considering primary HIV care facilities and HIV treatment. Okay, so there. <laughs> okay, so it's still working here. So okay, we still have here regarding HIV and support facilities so map. Mm -hmm. So we can see here on some facilities that we can. Uh, Look for regard here in the Philippines. Although that we can also help the uh, uh, okay, think uh, some safe spaces with pickup or with us, especially regarding uh, HIV facilities globally. So next. So by the way, I have also um. Process some data regarding the availability and then the operation ability of the uh, HFB facilities uh, regarding the uh, operations of the health systems here in the Philippines. So, okay, so what were our my caps? Okay. okay, so I have. Search code vaccination facilities. Okay, so uh, or wrong, no, uh, okay, so okay, 
is in data, data wrapper. So, yeah. so using the HIV uh or can something the data from the HIV facilities here in the Philippines. So and after cleaning it, so imported some uh lat lung data, the longitude latitude. So here. Um, so all of the facilities here are already processed and what we can see what we can see right now is that these facilities are already um, processed and right now we can visualize it okay so There after that, so adding some latitude, latitude. So here we can uh, alter the information, such as these symbols, square, the symbols such as circles, squares, right? Um, okay, so there. Uh, so what this is. And with this triangle, or the vertex, making pins and there. Yeah. So, okay, and by colors as well. So, we can alter this as well. So, there. Yeah. So, and with that, we can pop, I can publish and embed it already. So, other that I've already publish this uh, on my research gate and here in the data wrapper. So that uh, I end my presentation and thank you. Ah, okay, so although that uh, our community is small, so we are still uh, recruiting. Uh, help uh, our other support from different organizations as well regarding the HIV, regarding the advocacy on the uh, outage. So, so, so.